How's it going, guys? I'm Lucky. Johnny. Michael. And we make up Anime Casuals. And I probably should have said welcome to Anime Casuals before that, but we're doing it casually. You're not today. welcome. <laughs> yeah, you're not, you're not welcome here. You're not <laughs> welcome here, here, but we're not happy. <laughs> you can watch the video. You're not welcome here because you're watching the spoil-free review of, uh, of uh, Code Geass, Lelouch of the Rebellion. I was going to say Lelouch of the, the other one. <laughs> by accident. Uh, but yeah, so this will be a spoiler-free, just why you should watch it if you haven't already watched it. Um, and if you haven't watched it already, that's okay, because I just binged the shit out of it, um, roughly like a month ago or something like that. Your memory might be shot. Yeah, so it's, it's gonna be a little shoddy, although I, I got to watch like a, I got to read like a, like a, a cliff notes of it <laughs> over at lunch today before I fell asleep. Um, but yeah, so basically we're just gonna be talking about like, uh, reasons to watch it, um, kind of what sets it apart from other anime, and why the main character is so interesting without going too far into uh, especially second season stuff so uh, main character though. yeah the main character so what do you guys think <clears throat> what do you guys think drew you in first I can't really answer this because I, what drew me in was the fact that we had to do an anime cast about it and that's been it's like a really big it's a, it's like everybody talks about uh, Code Geass kind of like uh, it's like oh you gotta watch Naruto this this and that and then they go they trail down and eventually they get to Code Geass and so it's like, it's like, like Evangelion, uh, Code Geass, and all that shit. But what made you, I guess we can start with you, Michael. What made you watch it in the first place? Because I, I think you were the first one out of both, uh, all of us to watch it. Untrue. Oh, untrue. Untrue, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Hashtag lies. Oh, Lucky, damn. Lucky's well, a liar. That's fake news right there. That's fake news right there. Okay. <laughs> um, well, you know, for similar reasons that you did. Uh, Johnny came up to me one day. He's like, hey, have you... Johnny! Dude, oh, out of, God! Out of, out of like, the, like... He's you know, the catalyst. The, the catalyst. Oh, Johnny is finally the catalyst. Oh, my um, God. <laughs> Johnny was like, yo, you see, have you seen this this uh, anime? Because I was asking him what kind of anime. Like, is there any anime he hasn't seen that I, you know, I needed to watch? He's like, Code Geass. I was like, huh. And I was like, I've seen a few episodes of this, but I've never really watched it. He's like, yeah, it's pretty good. And but you know, like, you're much more vocal about it. I just assumed that you were the one that watched it. Well, I'm going to watch it. I'm like, this is awesome. <laughs> you're like, Johnny, taking this from you? No, my name. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay. um, and I think I'd watched a few episodes, like, forever ago, but... Uh, so I guess what hooked you into it, then? Like, dude, what, the like, fucking main character. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, the fact that I got a Gundam anime without it showing me a Gundam anime, like, <laughs> like, so many of the, like, the little posters and, like, like, you know, advertisement for the show was like, hey, yo, it's me, I got some eye shit, and, you know, like, there's other mysterious stuff, and then you're like, you keep watching, you're like, it's robots, yes, yeah. cool. and they're not, like, Gundam robots, they're just like, wow, those are some OP robots, yeah, like, seriously. that's, that's pretty cool, um, yeah, the, the biggest one was the kind of supernatural powers because that's usually what hooks me in an anime is like I'm like that's really interesting and plus this what kept me going is this dude's moral code so okay. like we'll get more into that but those are two things that like sucked me the hell in so what got you started in China since I want to redirect this question real quick go to you <laughs> I'm just trying to remember what I, why I started first watching this and I can't even think of any reason why it was so long ago I gotta imagine it was just like on Toonami one night and I was like yeah. Why not? Yeah. You know, and then I watched it, and it was yeah. really good. Uh, this is like Code Lyoko. Yeah. <laughs> God, dude, you just said a bunch of words that these millennials are not going to understand. Yeah. <laughs> Even though I'm we're technically mostly... Wait, wait, is this so. not a hexine? No, no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. I got it with that. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, I don't really know why I started watching it, but um, what kept I you probably stuck around that? because of uh, uh, that first episode is pretty... That is the first episode, right, where our shit goes down? Yeah, pretty yeah. much. <laughs> it's pretty gnarly, and that's why I, I really liked it. I mean, plus, Johnny Umbosh, always good. Yeah. Yeah. Good cool. stuff. You were talking about, like, the first episode. I've now recently going back and doing, like, a My Hero watch. Yeah. Like, dude, it takes, like, three episodes for that to, like, it just keeps upgrading and upgrading yeah, My true. Hero. And then, like, by the third one, he's like, oh, okay, I get it. He's getting a power. Yeah. He shows it off. But, like, Kobe House goes, hey, here's that first episode. Slow little build up, and it's like bam, I know, right? bam, bam, bam. <laughs> Delaware Smith. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> yes, my lord. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Yeah, they introduced a lot of characters in that first episode too. It's like, oh, you don't think like half of these people are ever gonna be around? It's like, oh, yeah, they're gonna be around for a little bit. So. They're kind of Game of Thrones. Yeah, yeah, I know, right? <laughs> but um, but yeah. It, it was, you lucky? Uh, for me, it was uh, it was definitely the main character, but uh, 
I liked there's a there's a big uh, like uh, kind of like not a paradox, but it's like a like a duality between him and another character. Um, Chad blanking out on his name right now. Could it be? Uh, yeah, so, uh, Suzaku or whatever, and uh, you kind of we'll we'll get into that in the next video. But I like they have very like they kind of go different ways and like. You know, in, in terms of their backgrounds and everything, they're, they're almost completely the opposite. <laughs> like, like one, one was born to a big empire, one was born to, uh, you know, a, a small empire that took it over, and then they switched roles. <laughs> and I was like, oh, that's really cool. And then it just kind of go, builds from there. But, I know, right? <laughs> Why do you think people in 20, what is this, 2019, I'm trying to remember, 2019, why do you think people in 2019 should watch a, an anime roughly from like the 2000, or like mid 2000s? It's also a mid-2000 anime, and it still looks stellar. Anyways. Uh, <laughs> I know, right? John, you want to take a think? I can, I can open it sure. up. Sure. Okay. Uh, uh, I can always talk. Yeah! <laughs> um, I think the biggest reason is that it really touches on kind of today's politics, weirdly enough. Mm. Like, it is Britannia, which is Britain, but it's America. Yeah. And America taking over... Basically the world, because I think at yeah. this time, the first episode, they controlled North America and South America. Yeah. Um, and the military politics that go into it are amazing to yeah. watch. Um, also, I think at, in this kind of time where there's a ton of anime coming out, um, you know, Why the Hell Are You Here, Teacher, all the way to like My Hero, Attack on Titan, and One Punch Man, um, which a lot of really good anime, but, like, I think it's nice to go back on, a, like, a triple-A anime from, you know, a past season and watch just a stellar amount of moral choices and how far should you go yeah. and is what he is doing right or wrong. And I think shows that allow you to do that kind of have you explore your own thinking. Yeah. So I think that's one of the biggest things to watch Code Geass besides watching like a really kick-ass main character and a lot of excellent supporting characters is that yeah. watching a show that kind of goes, hey, if you were in the same position, would you make the same choices that he made, are, is still relevant to today. So yeah. unlike, yeah. you know, there's some older anime like from the 90s and stuff, it's like, maybe it's not as worth watching <laughs> because like the voice acting is, is great or the animation is great. But this one, like, it's a pretty nice round. Yeah, it's right in the middle of everything. Yeah. <laughs> so what do you think, Johnny? Um, a lot of thoughts. I had more. They're slowly slipping. But <laughs> one big one, because this is the first one I thought of. The soundtrack in that anime is just awesome. It's really good. Um, and even, you know, what you're saying as far as like it being a political uh, sort of anime. I'm not really a political person, but seeing the militarism and the politics it takes in it along with the soundtrack it does this cool I don't know what to call it kind of jazzy feel mm, yeah. and jazzy intrigue and it's really uh, it's really fun makes it really fun to watch and you know keeps it going like, versus being kind of I don't know a little bit dull if you're not, not in politics kind of thing yeah. um, what else it does have a lot of great things uh, it's got mechs it's got superpowers in it um, politics something like that uh Fight scenes. Yeah, fight scenes. It's even got some gruesome stuff, you know. You're not into that. I mean, not pretty freaking weeaboos out there. They got tits. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There you go. Uh, that, oh, that's, God. They use mirror force. Oh, God. That's why I like them. Also, <laughs> you know, with that fan service, it's like, there's also things that are completely different than the Japanese versus... Oh, yeah. Oh, that's the other thing. It's comedy. It's got comedy. Yeah, it does. It does. It does some funny parts. And if you like Pizza Great Hut. Great advertising. Yeah, yeah, Pizza Hut's all over that. <laughs> We're not advertised by Pizza Hut? Yeah. We're not. <laughs> but we could be. Your move, Pizza Hut. <laughs> <laughs> Next episode, you just see we got a bunch of pizza. <laughs> hey, there we go. Next that's video. What, it worked. Yeah, it worked. That, that's one of those things like, to watch it and you're like, oh, that's so funny. Like, you, you like, watch an effort and you're like, oh, damn, it's a good episode. I know, right? Yeah. And, then, and then C2's like, pizza! Always. <laughs> oh, you like, um, I think the reason why you should watch this anime, um, definitely the reason why, I, like, just to kind of go back with why I stuck with it, but probably the reason why you should watch this anime is I find, like, some animes kind of go through a rut where they kind of, it's just doing the same thing, same thing, same thing, same thing. And it's like, 
I, you kind of just want a little change, and it's like, it's like, come on, man. And so, at least for me, I feel like this anime had, it, like, it, right when it was going to go through a plateau, it just, like, it was just like, hey, let's just reverse this upside down, mm-hmm. and just, <laughs> the plateau, instead of going down, it goes up. <laughs> yeah. And uh, it was like, I, you know, all of a sudden, I'd be like, I don't know if I want to watch another episode of this, and I'd force myself to watch it, and all of a sudden, right when I was kind of done with whatever like, kind of, like, stage was going on, like, just some crazy stuff happened, I'd be like, oh, so we're in a new phase, let's do it. <laughs> Whereas, you know, sometimes in, like, the older anime, like, old, old anime, like, uh, Dragon Ball Z or something, you can end up, like, with three episodes of just transforming, and, you know, yeah, <laughs> you, yeah, yeah. yeah and you can end up in just this humongous arc, and you're just, like, or Naruto, where you end up fighting with the same guy for, like, ever, <laughs> you know, whereas this one, you know, they kind of go through one things piece. quick, and, yeah, oh my god, <laughs> they can go through, they go through things uh, quick enough for you to understand, or... Slow enough for you to understand them, but quick enough for you not to get tired of them. So, um, and they just, they release, like, and I feel like they introduce new characters at a good pace. You know, once you, once you kind of know everybody, all of a sudden, whew, here's another person. Why don't you get used to them? And then, you know, they, they, they kind of play around with that a lot, so. So, yeah, I think, I think Code Geass was, is definitely worth a watch, and I think it's definitely worth a watch. Wait. Point at that camera. You. <laughs> Again, I'm looking at myself. All of you. I know. All, all, of, <laughs> all you. of you. Everywhere. All of you. Many we'll, people outside. You're a camera. You're a camera. <laughs> we'll release you after this video is over. <laughs> Anything else you guys want to add? I was going to say that, dude, that, that character thing you were saying is like, like, now it kind of reflected. I'm like, that's really important. Because some of the characters are like, yeah, I've been here for like six episodes, but you know, I matter. And yeah, so I know. Like, <laughs> you know, like every TV show, it's like, oh, they're in a war. Who just died? Oh, those people who they just introduced this episode. <laughs> like this one's like, oh shit. Or like that uh, person's been here for a little bit. Like damn. The like Game of Thrones with the nameless people is like, <laughs> hey, you don't have a name? Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> you just die right now. <laughs> yeah, it dude, that happens all the time. But like this one, like the the people who, like the people who end up dying or like you've actually been introduced to at some yeah. point. Like maybe they were just there for like five minutes, but yeah. like. They've lasted in the show long enough for you to kind of care about them, or some people go down swinging and yeah. have known for a while. So important, important side characters. What about you, Johnny? Anything else? To add? Um, I think I just say overall, it's just a smart anime. So it's yeah. just it's good. They're long people. Yeah, <laughs> they are. They're very long people. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it looks like they took great anime and the characters just <laughs> stretch up the Stretch Armstrong. Stretch Armstrong. Them just like. <laughs> Well, that is our reasons why you should watch uh, Code Geass, Lelouch of the Rebellion. Uh, not to get confused with the Resurrection, which I, for some reason I keep getting confused with. Um, but yeah, even in today's era, you can enjoy an anime from 2008. And just remember that. But uh, And also, just remember to keep it casual.